fix this. So this is one of our new, one of those pink pearl chokers. It's so cute. So I got a white one. We had white ones as well. See how this, where it was in the package, is kind of, kind of warped. Like it's just got a funky, because it was put up there, you know, doubled over when it was put up there. This is gonna get loud, but I'm gonna show you how to fix this, guys. This is my hair dryer. This is the one that I use on my hair. I put it on a medium heat. I'm gonna put it on low. And we're just gonna kind of give it a little bit of heat. And you're slowly gonna start to see, you're slowly gonna start to see those creases come out of there. Guys, this is an awesome trick. And you don't have to worry about messing up the jewelry or anything like that. Super awesome. You can see we're already getting there. You can see that, how it's hanging more normal. And I'm just going to keep the heat on there. That's why I'm hanging up on top. I think I actually hung it up against the wall the last time. Because really. it just, you know, it does get a little hot. But what you're doing is you're heating up that plastic string that runs and keeps all these beads together. You're heating up that plastic string and allowing that string to relax. You're allowing that string to just relax. And guys, look how much of a difference that makes. And you can also do this on those sea beaded necklaces. Anything that's kind of got that plastic string running through there, guys. Look at the difference. Isn't that crazy? So now you're not going to have those weird creases when you put them on. See, and there's a little bit, still a little bit of one right there. And I'm like extremely OCD. So I'm going to turn it up high and do it real quick. Look, that's all you got to do, guys. Look how perfect that is. Now you can put that necklace on and you're not gonna have to worry about any kind of creases or anything like that. Awesome. Right, guys, let's also try it since we've got the hair dryer out here. Let's also try it on a ring. So these rings, y'all know that these are stretchy. These have those same kind of plasticky strings running through them. Like I said, but these are stretchy. So if your finger's a little big, our rings usually fit sizes six to 11. However, they do vary just a little bit. What you can do, let's put it on our thumb, or right around that knuckle. See, it is, it's a little small on me, so we would need to do this for me anyways. You put, your, put it on your thumb like this, you bend your thumb, it's gonna stretch that band out. Let's turn this on low. We don't wanna go too high. We don't wanna go too high. If you go too high, we're gonna burn ourselves. You'd be surprised how quick it takes. Just like that, look how much stretched out this one is. So it, it's not a whole lot. We talk about them on live sales that we can't adjust them a whole lot. However, we can adjust them a little bit. So if that's not quite enough, you can do it again. I've actually, I've even seen people put these around the top of like bottles, around the caps and do it just so they can use a little bit higher heat, get it done quicker and you don't have to worry about it, burn it. But all you gotta do, like I said, just put it on your thumb, kind of bend your thumb down. It's gonna stretch it out. You want that right on the knuckle and then put you a little low heat to it. That's gonna stretch those bands out and relax the plastic that is in here that's keeping these beads together. To make them smaller, I'm not gonna do it on this one, but I'm gonna show you how. Let me find one I can do it on. On how to make a ring smaller so this one is a larger ring now guys our rings usually fit sizes 6 to 11 however they do vary a little bit so the last string if you've seen the last video the last string that I had on it was a little tighter this one if you can tell is quite a bit looser you can see all that air you've got that space in between there I'm gonna show you how to make this ring smaller Grab you a pair of needle nose pliers. All right, so these are just a pair of small needle nose pliers. You can grab anything that you have around the house. We're just gonna grab one of these links and we're gonna squeeze it. And you can see how it's mushed now. We're gonna grab it again, I'm gonna twist it just to kind of get that end off. Sometimes you gotta squeeze it the other way. But remember, just do this one for right now. Okay, you hear the dogs going crazy. Now let's grab it right here on the other side of that same link. We're gonna squeeze it together. Now all you have to do is just kind of work back and forth. These loops that are that the strings going through will come apart. Just like that. 
and see, and we can just pop them out. You can just pop them out. Sometimes you gotta work with them a little bit more. See, like this top piece, it is out now. Just keep kind of messing, because these are just little pieces of plastic, guys. And you just kind of keep, keep working with it until you get, see, there we go. There the bottom one come off right there. Now we're gonna finish getting, and it just popped right out. How you like that, ladies? So that makes it smaller. See, it's just much more snug now. I don't have that big gap. I can't even make a gap. That's the only way I can make a gap, so I'll stretch it out. So that is perfect. All I have to do is take out one. We do have a lot of ladies that have smaller hands. This is my, my other ring again. It is not pop right through. We do have ladies who have smaller hands, and you can just continue taking these links out until you get it to your size that you want. Don't forget, queens, shop my website anytime. New releases every weekday.